All right, sketch podcast. We back. Look, make sure you subscribe to the page. Um, we're gonna be reacting to Ann Coulter on Bill Maher's show, talking about the shooting that happened. Uh, yeah, man, we back, man. Links on the screen if you want to leave a donation to the Sketch Pad Podcast. So let's get into this clip, man. Ian Coulter talking about the shooting that happened on Bill Maher. I don't know who did this shooting, by the way. The, the, the Super Bowl shooting. We have we, some idea. What? If it were a white man shooting, we'd know. If it, well, we don't know, but they, I mean, they that's how we know it's not a white man. I can tell you that much. Do you think they're, they're repressing that reporting? They wouldn't tell us about the um, transgender woman that shot up the Christian school for what, like a year? Um, oh, San Bernardino out here. Remember the crazy terrorist Muslims? I, that's when I first noticed, hmm, they're not telling us who it is. I, it's not a white male. The longer they go without telling you, it's not a white male. Okay, well, we don't, we, for this one, for right now, as of Friday night, February 16th, we, know. we, don't, we don't officially know. Okay, you know, you have special powers. Um, but The media who do not care about blacks killing blacks, and this is the w one time where I think, I mean, you always hear, well, um, pretty white girl, oh, they'll cover that. No, the blacks killing blacks will not get covered by the media. That's a huge media problem, and yeah, you'll, you'll all laugh at me, um, but I'm going to say it because I'm right. A Very right. The cause of this Far right. is, is illegitimacy. <laughs> all of these young men do not have fathers, and that is a huge, huge source of it. Anything that could be done to reduce the illegitimacy rate, particularly among the black community, it would be astronomical, the changes you'd see. Do you know, just one... One fact, if you take away the factor of illegitimacy, the difference in the black and the white crime rate disappears. You know, uh, it's an amazing it, fact. It, it's, it's, it would be an amazing fact if it were true, but... But look, well, I mean, it is a big part of it. Listen, uh, uh, I've got two very small children. I've got uh, uh, my eye on this problem a lot. You know, I'm trying to raise, you know, black kids here in Los Angeles. I'm not a part of the pro-crime lobby. See, this is why I can't stand black liberals. I absolutely cannot stand black liberals. You see, when she, let's be clear here. Black people been talking about this forever, about there's no fathers in the home. This is why a lot of it, uh, these, these young black men do what they do. We've been talking about this. This is not nothing new. But when she says it, he says that she's wrong. How is she wrong? The media don't cover black on black crime. They don't. Not in, not in the sense of the grand, a grand scale of it. They'll still cover it as if the cities are dangerous. That's it. But they don't cover it to the point where this needs to stop type of covering it. Like mental illness type of covering it. Oh, these young black men got mental illness. This needs to stop. No, they, they, they cover it like, oh, these, these is a bunch of degenerate criminals. That's it. And they keep it moving. Do you know that? <clears throat> Black men make up over 60% of the crimes in America. We're only 14% of the population in America. But black men make up 60%. I'm going to say crime. I'm going to say uh, violent crime. Over. That's not a problem. Van Jones. She's not right about that. So when Bill Maher said. I mean, she do kind of got a point. He says, no, she don't. He says, well, she says, I'm right. And he says, yeah, you're far right. So let me get this right. 
so now it's far right. You're a far right extremist if you say that black people need to stop killing black people. I thought before it was you're a far right extremist if you say blacks should kill blacks. <laughs> now if you say they should stop killing each other, you are far right. <laughs> you see, you see how that doesn't make sense. You're far right if you say that black should stop killing blacks. How does that make sense, Van Jones? This guy is a joke. He's always been a joke. He's a joke. Van Jones is a joke. He's an ass kisser and he's a joke. But yet and still, you get on here and you try to make it seem like she's not right about black on black uh, black men, young black men killing young black men. And she's saying it needs to stop. And you telling her you wrong about that. So that doesn't happen. So the media has Yo, been. Pause, pause, pause the video real quick. Pause the video real quick. It's an emergency. All right. The media don't want to cover this to the point where they bring awareness to this. They'll cover everything else, such as police brutality or if a police officer kills a black person, they'll cover that because they know that that's going to get black people upset. But they won't cover what's going on over in Chicago or Philadelphia. They won't cover that. You know what I'm saying? And to me, it's just mind blowing how someone can call somebody a far right extremist if they're saying that black people should stop killing each other. Now you are far right extremist for that now. It's just it's it's just stupid to me. You know what I'm saying? And even if even my thing is, even if it's a talking point, even if even let's just say Ann Coulter, let's just make argument's sake. Let's just say she is a, a, a far right extremist. Right. Let's just say she's a racist. Right. Even that's the if what that's the case. If nobody knows her and she said that, I think black people should stop killing black people. Totally. Totally ignores her being a right winger. You get what I'm saying? It just, it just, just makes that go away instantly. Because if you don't know her and she's telling you that, how, how can you know if she's a far right extremist? You wouldn't know. You'd be like, damn, that she's right about that. But for some reason, people like Van Jones, they, they got to spin themselves into, into this whirlwind of, of, uh, of, uh, racism and, 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 and bigotry like and then you say little smart stuff under your breath you know what I'm saying instead of having a real substance conversation, uh, conversation or deep conversation you gotta say oh when she says I'm right about this you're gonna say oh yeah you're far right like come on bro like what what, what is this you know what I mean but go ahead man <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, I definitely agree where, you know, um, like uh, killings in the in the projects or whatever, black on black, that don't really, it's not really covered like that. If they do cover it, they always cover it. Oh, this is a dangerous part of the area, just like they depict Philadelphia, you know what I mean? To, to, to make people not want to go to Philly, they do that. You know, they uh they depict the area as being condemned, like you shouldn't go there. That's what they uh put on the news or whatever. Um but they don't cover the black on black crime like that. They don't. It's it's the truth. It's the truth. They only cover it the news media only covers it when it's appealing to their interest as far as getting the people drawn in. That's when they cover it. They're never going to cover it when, when it's uh, when it's something serious and detrimental to the point where you got to give people information. Because let's be clear, the news media, not all information is the right information. Not all information is the good information. You know, so you kind of just got to pick and choose. But you know, with the with the media outlets and stuff like that, you know. The, the heavy hitters, the ones that are 
constantly, you know, being shown on our screen, those are the ones that a, a good majority of us gravitate to and think that they're right because, you know, we see them every single day. You know, um, we had, we used to have TV 40. You remember TV 40? It took TV 40 away. They took TV 40 away years ago. We used to have Channel 40, Channel 40 News. That was our local news. That was our wave to what's going on. They didn't took that away. Took that away. TV 40's been gone for like, what, 10, 20-something years now? You know what I mean? And that was that was our local news. You know what I mean? Now we have to, we have to penny pitch off of these other broadcasts just to figure out what's going on in our own neighborhood when we already had our own news broadcast. Every other location had their own news broadcast except us in Jersey, South Jersey, by the way. So mm -hmm. that just goes to show you, you know what I mean? That just goes to show you they, um, she's right. You know, they, they pick and choose where they want to go and what they want to do and how they want to do it and it just goes from there. Hey man, I know what it is. Shout out to her, man. You know what I mean, that was a good. That was a good. Uh, what's the name? And also too, I didn't touch on this. Um, she's right about that about the white man, because if it was a white male, you would know. The thing is, see, and I, and I don't, I'm not gonna keep going with this, but the mainstream media don't care as long as they can keep people watching they don't care about demonizing white people because white people has been demonized for a long time so if you can get it off you're going to get it off regardless so they'll do that what she said about you know that it's not a white man come to find out it was two black it was three black men who did it And she said, you know, it wasn't somebody white because if it was, they would have had him out there already. Kyle Rittenhouse. Right. Kyle mm -hmm. Rittenhouse. What happened? He was defending himself. He was all over the news. Seven, 16, 17 year old boy. They didn't care. They didn't care. The guy that ran over everybody with the car. You remember that with the truck? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Do you know what he looked like? No. You know why? Because he's black. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. So, again, they don't want to bring awareness to the criminality that goes on in the hood unless there's a white man killing a black man. And you know, we talked about this before. And he said, uh, whenever they in implement race into things, that's when you know not to listen to it. Because they said a white officer killed a black man. That's an automatic trigger for people. Doesn't matter what happened. They're just going to be like, okay, the cop's wrong and the guy's right. The guy could have been the worst. He could have been a, a, he could have been the craziest guy. Could have killed a hundred people. But they're going to always say that. Black guy, a white guy, black officer, or a black officer, I mean, white officer, black guy. But it is what it is, man. Hey, man, you know what it is. Sketch pad, we out of here. See y'all. Peace, bye. Man. <laughs>